So we're not on the boat today? Nope. This is definitely not the boat. We are in Kent. It's potentially a very exciting day, but it's also quite nerve-wracking in case it's not an exciting day. Yeah, it doesn't work out the way we want it to. Um, but basically, we're here today to try and get a new crew member. And, a much uh, needed, wanted crew member. Yeah. We've been, been trying, pretty much as soon as we've got the boat, we've been trying to get a new crew member. Yeah, we've been trying to find a dog. I mean, we started by going to, in, you know, here in England, there's kind of some major, um, well-known sort of dog rehoming groups. Um, the, uh, the Battersea uh, Dogs Home, like super famous, and the Dogs Trust. Uh, along with lots and lots and lots of smaller rescues and stuff, and, and this, the whole system is a little different than what I'm used to in the to, states. Yeah. Um, you know, where you basically just go down to the to the local pound and and find your pooch. And we know that they are really good organisations and they do really good work, but it just hasn't worked out for us. Yeah, because at the end of the day, they're they don't understand our situation. <laughs> yeah, but the idea of living on a boat is kind of foreign to most of them. And like the last time we went to Battersea, we picked four potential dogs, which would have been perfect boat dogs. But the rehomer that we got was was said no to all of them. And the frustrating thing is she didn't really tell us why it was no. She just kind of put us off them without saying this dog wouldn't be suitable for to live on a boat because of this reason. If we'd had like this reason, we'd have been, oh, OK, fair enough, we understand. But she yeah. didn't. She was just kept turning us down and basically said that she we needed to have like a really easy, perfect dog. She was making some assumptions about what life on the boat would be like yeah. that just weren't Worked really through. true. Yeah, their process was just a little bit formulaic and a bit um, rigid. And in a way that is, like, it's not like we're trying to criticize them. It's just that it didn't work for us. It didn't work for us. What I was trying to say to her is because some of the dogs have had traumatic times. Like, we didn't want to take on a dog that was going to be further traumatized by the boat that couldn't cope with it. But she interpreted that as we needed a really easy dog, you know. It's like completely docile and, and yeah, can accept but, everything. But, yeah, it's fully trained, like doesn't pull on a lead, has perfect recall, and that's not what we were saying. Yeah, we were absolutely not saying we needed a unicorn dog. We were saying we need <laughs> a, dog. a dog. It's a very disheartening, up, you know, it's actually upsetting experience to be yeah. turned down for all these dogs that like would, would have been fine. Yeah, like, which... That's the other thing she said, like... We wanted to rehome a dog. We didn't want to buy a puppy. But she said to me that, um, like most dogs that live on boats, were probably like, you know, puppies on boats. Yeah. Which. It's like encouraging us to go get a puppy. Which is really irresponsible. And it's also not true. Yeah. So we put a bit of a plea out for help on one of the Facebook forums. And we got a few, like some people it had worked out for at the Dogs, Dogs Trust, other people, you know, it hadn't worked out for. No one really speak to, spoke about Battersea. People said they had bad, a bad time with the RSPCA and, and with the Dogs Trust. Um, but there was a few helpful um, recommendations, one of them being the English, uh, what's it called? English, English Springer Spaniel, Spaniel Welfare. Yeah. So we contacted them and they were brilliant <laughs> so the um the lady actually came and did a home visit which was amazing because you know it was a two hour one and a half to two hour drive and she came over and pretty much as soon as she got on the boat she was like yep this is, this this is fine. fine yeah she sat down and had some tea with us we we had a nice conversation and she very quickly was like oh yeah no this would be ideal for a dog and she even had a dog in mind but she wanted to go back and just speak to the foster because the dog was in foster care speak to the foster carer and just see what he thought and then she contacted us that same day yeah and sent the most adorable pictures yes but and as soon as as soon as we opened the pictures i was like yep <laughs> so now we're here to actually meet george who will be showing up probably in about 10 15 minutes i mm -hmm. think now and we're really hopeful of course there is always the possibility that george because, you know, they know something of his history, but they don't know everything. They know he's a little leery about ball caps. Um, for all we know, he might find um, beards to be terrifying. He's here. He's here now. Very exciting time. Looking forward to meeting him.
we had to leave off kind of abruptly. Uh, George was showing up, and uh, he showed up. Um, this is George. And um, basically what happened is the rescue, um, English Springer Spray and Yule Welfare. Say that more than once fast. Say it even once fast. Anyway, ESSW, uh, Sharon from there showed up, and so did um, the guy who'd been homing George for the last four weeks. And uh, we went and walked around the park with George, and we basically fell for him. He is extremely headstrong. He likes to pull on his lead. Um, and he is the most ball-obsessed animal I've ever seen, ever. <laughs> this, this dog could be playing baseball, um, except for the fact that he won't give back the ball. The... Um, yeah, uh, basically we've had him for a couple of days now. We've just been getting him used to the boat. He likes the water. We figured that out by surprise. Um, well, we sort of knew he'd like the water, but we didn't know how much he'd like the water until he, he went in after a ball. And um, he's sort of settling. He's, um, he's beautiful. He's very, 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 very attentive to balls. He doesn't like losing them, and he really likes catching them, or sometimes throwing them, and definitely ruining them. If anybody wants to do a GoFundMe for balls, we, uh, we blew our budget already. He's done three locks, four locks, and two swing bridges, and thus far has not ended up in the water. He likes it on the boat. He, um, he has made at least one lunge towards just going swimming off the front end, so we're going to try and <laughs> get that out of him. And, um, yeah. Yeah, we're just getting used to him, and he's getting used to us. Is that it?